we present 2017 chemistry paper 2 question number 3 testing on reactivity series of metals and hydrogen gas join us and stay on until the end so part a a student used figure 2 to investigate the action of dilute sulfuric 6 acid on some metals so here we are using iron and copper so beaker 1 and 2 contained equal volumes of dilute sulfuric 6 acid to beaker 1 a clean iron rod was dipped and to beaker 2 a clean copper rod was dipped so students you realize copper metal will not react with dilute acid because it is below hydrogen in the reactivity series on the other hand iron rod will react because it is above hydrogen in the reactivity series so the first question is asking us why it is necessary to clean the metal rods the answer here is to remove oxide layer for one mark so we remove the oxide layer on the metals then a student would also write to remove rust but this this is specifically on iron because you remember copper does not rust instead it corrodes so we move to question number two which is asking us to describe the observations made in each beaker so in beaker one as we have just discussed iron will react with the dilute sulfuric acid and when iron reacts with the dilute sulfuric acid we normally form iron 2 sulfate and hydrogen gas so the observations will be as follows one there will be bubbles or what we call effervescence of a colorless gas this is actually the hydrogen gas we are talking about so bubbles will earn ourselves half a mark and then we shall proceed with the next observation and this is about formation of the salt ion 2 sulfate now ion 2 sulfate is usually green so the next observation will be solution turns green and this is because of formation of ion 2 sulfate for the next half mark giving us the one mark for that section so to beaker 2 beaker 2 is now copper with dilute sulfuric acid so we expected to see the following one solution is expected to remain colorless solution remains colorless a half a mark another observation would be no effervescence would be observed no effervescence or bubbles I have a mark as well and a student who also observed no change in size of copper rod would also get some mark no change in size of the copper rod would also get half a mark for observations so in question part three we now explain the observations in a2 above so we start with beaker one beaker one why we were able to see some reactions is because ion is above hydrogen in the reactivity C 
series or we can say that iron is more reactive iron is more reactive than hydrogen any of these would give us the first half mark and then we continue that it therefore it therefore reacts with dilute allow me to use symbols because of space dilute sulfuric 6 acid to form we are forming ion 2 sulfate which is green which is green and hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas as bubbles of a colorless a colorless gas this for the next half a mark then now moving to beaker 2 moving to the second beaker we will explain that copper copper is below hydrogen copper is below hydrogen in the reactivity series copper does not react with dilute sulfuric 6 acid therefore no reaction took place so that is why we were able not to see any bubbles or effervescence so writing copper is below hydrogen in the reactivity series the next half mark and no reaction the last half mark totaling two for that question so we move on to part b of the question so part b is about burning hydrogen in air oxidizing hydrogen in oxygen to form water as indicated by figure 3 so what happens probably wet hydrogen is brought in it is dried by a solid drying agent packed in a u-tube that the examiner calls x once it has been dried we now burn it here when you burn oxygen uh, when you burn hydrogen in oxygen you get steam which then we condense at this point so we have a suction pump here that will help us in drawing the products at this point through our boiling tube so state the role of x x is a drying agent so it is to dry the hydrogen gas for one mark then give the name of substance that could be used as x x is our drying agent and because it has been packed in a u-tube it has to be a solid drying agent not liquid so there can be it can be calcium oxide it can be anhydrous calcium chloride and it can also be silica gel for one mark any of those three why it is it has to be solid is because it is packed inside a u-tube you cannot do this with the liquid because then the air or the gas we are passing would push the liquid up the other wing so you can never use a liquid in a u-tube that's why the answer to our drying agent has to be a solid drying agent now moving on the role of suction pump the role of suction pump is either to suck or pump or remove or draw the products of burning into the boiling tube so any of these words would give the student one mark 
to product y here this we all know is water because water is an oxide of hydrogen for one mark physical test a simple one that can be used to prove that y is water so we have quite a number we can boil the liquid boiling half a mark and then if it boils at 100 degrees celsius then uh, it confirms then it confirms it is water so the degrees the 100 degrees celsius gives the next half mark totaling one now a student had the option of again freezing the liquid so we can write freeze the liquid instead of boil and then if if it freezes at zero degrees celsius then it is water we also had the option of measuring its density and if we get a density of one gram per cubic centimeter then our liquid is water finally we can measure the refractive index and if we find it is 4 over 3 then it is water the last question is asking us to differentiate between the words dry and anhydrous now a dry substance is one that is free from contact with water while anhydrous anhydrous substance does does not contain water of crystallization one mark for explaining what a dry substance is and another one mark for explaining what an hydrous substance is up to that point we are through with our short video where we are presented KCSE 2017 chemistry paper 2 question number 3 thanks for watching